Oh my god, the fastest MacBook ever is about to come out. We need some crazy, insane YouTube thumbnail face reactions. Yeah, I think those were... That was fine. All right, so jumping right in, story numero uno. Last week or something, who cares? Time isn't real. We got our first leaked benchmarks for the upcoming MacBook Pro models. And now some new brave lad has leaked even more benchmarks for the upcoming M2 Max chip that will be inside of me. I mean, inside of the new MacBook Pro. And oh, honey, it's going to be so spicy. Like, it's going to be so fast. Somebody should check this. Somebody should check the M2 Max chip for HGH or something, because this can't be legal. Call it the M2 Liver King. Our first performance benchmarks that came out that leaked this stuff last week uh, for the M2 Max chip did indeed show us a chip faster than the M1 Max, but it wasn't exactly exciting, you know? But now, come back to like real life time and yesterday, Thursday to be exact, we have another benchmark leak and this is the one. This is the benchmark that makes me regret buying my Mac Studio, you little Happy Meal looking bitch. So, all right, let's do it. Let's talk numbers, you know, math, squiggles and stuff. And you better enjoy it because I am allergic to numbers. That's why we never talk about benchmarks on this show because they're scary and but this is different. For context, the M1 Max benchmarks were hitting at about 1,746 for single core and 12,154 for multi-core. Which is good. That's not bad. That's respectable. Okay, here's the current leaked benchmark for the M2 Max, which for a single core is 2,027. And for a multi-core score, 14,888. If you aren't a math wizard, that's a 22% increase in speed. That is a lot, is how I would calculate that. You can quote me. Now, see, these are numbers to be excited about. Somehow, Apple just keeps making their Apple silicon more silicon-y, and it's insane. Call me a fanboy whatever you want, but I genuinely think Apple introducing the M1, introducing Apple Silicon for the first time will go down as a major historical event. Like the Berlin Wall coming down, or Subway coming out with the $5 foot long. And these leaks are perfect timing to get people hyped for the next 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro models, and yep, those are coming out kinda soonly. Last time Mark Gurman came out of his germ hole. <laughs> <laughs> like, like when the groundhog has to come out and check for his shadow. Oh, I just now got the joke. I don't write the scripts, so I get to laugh with you. Anyway, last time German came out of his germ hole, he foretold of an early 2023 launch. So, you know, get ready for that. This is fine, really. I like my Mac Studio anyway. I'm not excited about the MacBook Pro. I don't wish... I, I like the fact that the Mac Studio is a box. And it just is a box. Just does box stuff. Doesn't have a keyboard. Doesn't have a trackpad. Doesn't have a screen. It's just a box. Oh boy. Love boxes. I want that MacBook Pro. Wait! Wait! I know. I know you usually skip this part, but don't today. Don't skip it today. Just you, you sit and wait. This isn't a sponsor. We don't have a sponsor today. Everybody chill. Instead, check out our Discord server. Since I'm not using Twitter anymore, I'm going to be using Discord, like a lot. That is where you can get actual updates from me and the rest of the FPT team, like Burn and Ian. I'm gonna try to stop in like once a day to talk with all of you. You don't have to like pay or anything. Just go to discord.gg slash FPT, link in the description, then join the community. And hopefully I'll see you there. And no promises, but uh, I do hear Tim Cook is gonna be there. So you might wanna go and Alrighty, Tidy, welcome back. So, uh, last stuff for the day, story numero uno is a bit odd. Uh, a little bit of spicy drama, a <laughs> little bit of news, but not really news because it's like, it's weird. Uh, let me explain. So, you know the Pixel Fold, the Pixel Fold that we leaked about a month ago? Yeah, that's the one. Uh, what if I told you that it leaked again? But this time, <laughs> right, uh, it leaked with less information, involved a, a sketchy website, some sketchy practices, and then everyone called it news. <laughs> 
Yes, this is something that has occurred. On leaks, a reputable leaker who is a big fan of John Prosser and front page tech, as you can see, he just dropped his version of the pixel fold renders and they look very familiar. And we joke, but to Steve's credit, uh, these were likely based off of actual CAD files of the pixel fold. Whereas ours were based off of literally having to look at the thing in pictures and videos and having to recreate it from scratch. Seriously, I'm pretty sure Ian's fingers are still blue. Leading. But yeah, Steve's are based on CADs, which means that they are likely more accurate when it comes to actual dimensions down to the centimeter or whatever you measure phones with. Uh, so good job, Steve. Credit where credit is due. But you know, here's what really tickles my butthole. News sites covered this version of the leak and just collectively decided to pretend that we totally didn't just give the first look and all the information of this device last month was stuff like color names and pricing and release date and all that. I get it. I do. I'm the, I'm the boogeyman. I'm the Baba Yaga. My track record isn't exactly perfect, so I understand if sites don't want to risk reporting on the information that we give out right away, that's fine. That's fair. But when a source that you do trust comes out with literally the same exact information, but just at a later date, you can't then also just pretend like I don't exist. <laughs> That's not how news works. What's better is that these sites did give credit to website How Do I Solve, which is the website that OnLeaks collaborated with on this leak. Now I know you might be like, I I have never heard of that website ever in the history of Everness. Is it real? Why did Steve, reputable OnLeaks, choose to work with them? Well, you see, Steve did not choose to work with them. They chose to work with Steve. Come here, real quick. Let me let you in on a bit of inside baseball. Steve sells his leaks. He gets the leaks, and then he sells them to any website that might want to attach their name to it. That's how he makes his money. Go look at any of his leaks, all of them. They are in collaboration with some other sketchy-ass website that you've never heard of, always. But also, how do I know this information? Well, <laughs> because Steve, back in the day, tried to sell me some iPhone 12 CADs for $25,000 in Bitcoin. Hi, Steve. That is why these random spoopy websites, quote, collab on leaks with Steve. It just means they paid him in some back alley somewhere. Which, uh, I don't, I don't know if that's legal. Might be. Don't know, though. Anyway, this How To I Solve article was pretty much just written with AI, like that new AI thing that's going around. Pretty sure they just wrote it with that. And then the AI person or the real person that wrote it just repeated all the information from our original leak. And hey, we joke a lot on this show. Maybe I'm just feeling spicy. Maybe I'm assuming the incorrect thing here. Maybe uh, how, uh, how to I leak, uh, how to what? How to I solve... Maybe they did not just copy and paste our information from our article and from our video. Maybe they had it themselves. Maybe this is totally, actually exclusive information from them. Maybe. John Prosser says, Hey, here's the pixel fold. Here's what it looks like. Here's the price and release date. Diverge. I love how to's or how to I solve or whatever. Hey, here's what it looks like. Here's the price and the release date. Diverge. Hey, did you know that this is the Pixel Fold and it's coming out in May of 2023 and for $17.99, so says that's that website. <laughs>